You know, like in scary movies, monsters and ghosts, all these entities that you can't see are just like so overwhelmingly powerful. I was really afraid of all that. Demons run when a good man goes to war. Night will fall and drown the sun when a good man goes to war. Friendships die and true love lies. Night will fall and the dark will rise when a good man goes to war. Demons run, but count the cost. The battle's won, but the child is lost. I was just like really reckless, man. That's kind of what I was known for growing up. But I'd go outside and get on top of my shed, 30 feet up in the air, and I'd skateboard off of a ramp we made like it was nothing. I was pretty into comics, and like Batman got me kind of into the fighting martial arts part of it. My first actual taste of doing martial arts was really just like wrestling. They showed me my first UFC fight. They could, they're allowed to do that? Just watching it and knowing just like who I am as a person. I would get these ideas to do these stunts and fighting is like the ultimate stunt, man. So yeah, I knew it right then and there. I'm gonna do this. So I like went on Google. Ready? Three. This is, works out. I'll go check two, it out. One. Go. The jiu jitsu program, to MMA, to the kickboxing. Like, everybody's super competitive and everybody works hard. I was just fascinated by it from the get go, and I still am. I was going with these guys, I've kind of proved myself. Got beat up a little bit, showed them that I was consistent and that I really wanted to do this. And going into my sophomore year of college, I made my actual amateur debut. And here we are at Cagezilla Fighting Championships. We have JP St. Louis versus Matthew Semi Simmelsberg. Semi with a kick to answer. Bullies him up against the fence, but is caught in the guillotine as he attempts a double leg. Turns or he slips out. Punches and punches and punches from Semi. He's unloading on JP. Hard jumping knee to the sternum. JP has him in a tight guillotine. He's looking to pass the mount. Oh, it's a tight as I There's the tap. It's there over. It is. It's all over. After that fight, it took me a few weeks of just like laying in bed, staring up at the ceiling, just like <laughs> wondering about everything. Uh, everything just got so overwhelming. Fighting became uh, a chore and a task to me, and I lost my love for it, really. That was like my initial was like I was going to give up. I was almost pretty much almost to the point uh, with the Marines that I was about to sign the dotted line. The only thing I think that held me back and I think it happened for a reason was I had so many medical history problems. Surgeries and this and that. Hundreds of pages of medical documents I had to get just to like be able to enlist in the Marines. Was trying to get all this medical paperwork together, and, and I just ended up kind of sitting down and like started thinking a lot. And 
Nah, man, I'm just gonna go for this funny thing. Take me down. Here we are. Take me down. Right that juncture right now. All around. Got an opportunity to, to write a new script. I see lights all around. To write a new and script. I just nearly drive. Pull off an old tablet. Can you the way it's supposed to be done. Got a chance to set that right now. Take the bread. Take the bread. Show your teeth like the blood. I gotta take the chance, man. Because if I don't, I'm always gonna live with that. Now, I'm looking at it. I'm coming in here to improve every day. And I'm coming in here to win. Got a chance right now to rewrite that slate. The way it's supposed to be done. Got a chance to set that right now. Got a chance to go out there and show who you want to be and who you are. Essentially for me, I always get like a rush uh, from hearing it's on, like basically seeing the green light go up. I gotta get myself in the zone, so I just kind of have to get into my own little dark place. And here we are at Strike Off Fighting Championships. We have Matthew Semi Simmelsberg trying to get in the win column against Brian Maxwell. Both fighters take the center of the cage. Brian finding his rhythm with the strikes. Hard head kick by Brian. Biting kick by Semi. Got the respect to Brian. Hard punches in the exchange. Both fighters a little bit wild. And there's the break. So do. Semi's gonna have to recollect himself for round two. I'm coming in here to improve every day. And I'm coming in here to win. A chance of the greatness I feel in my heart. Nobody can break it or peel it apart. These hours, these minutes, these seconds I grind. Turn to a moment that's frozen in time. Counting me out, but I'm still in the fight. Crowning me king by the end of the night. It's not a surprise that I have arrived. They thought I would die, but... Coming out hard, oh, right hook. Oh, another counter right hook. Another right hand. A hard leg kick that buckles the leg it's of Brian. It's my time. In my prime. Try stopping this, not dropping this. Watch, I'm gonna get mine. Brian with a double leg, slam back down. But Semi throws the right leg over from the outside heel. The there it is, he's turning over, cranking. There's the tap. Long awaited, dominated, top of the world. Now I made it. Destiny call it whatever your heart's moves. Never too late while you're waiting, I'm starting. After like the week of the fight, after everything blows over, it's almost like all the lights have faded. You look back up, you're like, that was so fun. Ah, I want to be out back up there, man. I want to show the world that I'm one of the most, and hopefully at some point, the most entertaining fighter to ever grace the octagon. So do.